A memory tool that you can use to help remember the causes of respiratory acidosis is depress, like depressed respirations. So D stands for drugs. So this could be over sedation with sedatives or narcotics. And also, there's another D in here, stands for diseases of the neuromuscular system. So that can impair a person's ability to breathe. E is for edema, specifically pulmonary edema. So too much fluid in the lungs impairs gas exchange in the lungs. So that can cause decreased respirations. P is for pneumonia. R, the respiratory center of the brain has been injured in some way, maybe due to something like a stroke, and that can throw off your breathing. E is for an emboli, so specifically a pulmonary emboli, a PE, a blood clot that's traveled to the lungs that can impair your breathing. S, sac elasticity has decreased. So somebody who has COPD will have decreased elasticity in the alveoli. So they have a harder time flexing and opening, so they have a harder time with gas exchange. And then the other S, is there are spasms of the bronchial tubes, which occurs in patients who have asthma. So this I thought was a helpful little memory tool to remember the causes of respiratory acidosis.